everybody, it's Missy from Shimmers again, and today I wanted to share with you something fun that you could do with any of the Shimmers Texture Paste. I'm going to use the new pasties, but you could do this also with the Dazzlers or the Textures, and it's very simple. You literally cannot mess this up, and it's super cute. So all you need is some of the paste in whichever colors you want. I'm going to use this pink first. It's called Raspberry Sherbet. And I'm just using my palette knife to smudge a thick little layer onto some white cardstock. In no rhyme or reason type of way, I'm just smudging it down so it's got some thickness to it. I don't want to scrape it too thin. I'm going to add in the peach fuzz color here, and I'm going to try to overlap the two colors. And then I'm going to add a third color, which is yellow. It's me. These are three of my favorite colors, and you could do this with any of the colors. So I've got some thick paste laid down here, and I didn't want it to dry. I want to keep it wet for a little bit, so I'm going to put it aside. And what I'm going to do is take this old little mini heart punch that I've had for a while. It's from Martha Stewart, and some uh, scrap card stock here, and I'm just going to punch a lot of little hearts. You could do this with patterned paper. You could do this with any punch shape. You could do this with little wood veneer pieces or sequins, anything that's tiny. And I'm going to use my scissors, or not, those aren't scissors, tweezers, and I'm just going to smush down the hearts into the paste, and then use the tip of the tweezers to press it down. And since the paste is wet and thick, when I smush it down, the paint is going to kind of puff up around it, and so you don't have to use any glue or anything like that, but it's going to look really cool up close, and it almost looks like the cardstock is showing through from the back but it's these little hearts smushed in there. I think that looks really cool. And you can see that the, uh, the new pasties here do not have any shimmer or shine. They dry in this really pretty matte flat finish. I think that looks super adorable. This would make a great card, or I could uh, add a picture to this and make a layout. I'm going to take this a step further. I haven't showed a lot of this pasties. This is the putting on the glitz, and it looks white, but it's going to dry clear, and it has got some glitter sparkle to it. So I'm just going to do a smudge of this and then blend it in with my finger here. So if you don't have any of the dazzlers, you could get this putting on the glitz, and look at how shimmery and shiny that is. You could do this on top of anything. And there it is dry, instant sparkle, instant glittery shine. So, so pretty. So I definitely don't discount putting on the glitz because it's not just your basic white. It has got ultra sparkle and shine to it. So here comes some close-ups of this. I think this is a fun technique to try if you like getting messy and like to jazz up your backgrounds. This would make an adorable card. So I hope you guys give this a chance. Oh, there's some of the great texture you can see. I love how that looks. I love how it puffs up around the hearts. Just gives it a different look. Something fun to try. And there you can really see the shimmer from the putting on the glitz. So I hope you guys give this a try. Thanks for watching.